Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Washington Monument. I take one finger way down here at the bottom in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the right, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, and stop. I go back to the dot towards the left, straight line, curve line, and stop. Now for this project there's going to be a lot of what I call floating lines. We're going to connect things after we finish drawing them. Alright, I take one finger now all the way at the very top in the center and I put another dot. And from this dot we're going to draw a triangle. Straight diagonal out, come back to the dot, straight diagonal out, come back to the left, connect the two, and there's our triangle. Now I come back up to the first dot and I draw a straight diagonal out and I draw a straight line connect. <clears throat> now come floating lines. I start over here on the left and I'm going to draw a straight line down all the way and stop. Come back up to this point straight line down, keep going and stop. Last point right here, straight line down, keep going, keep going, keep going and stop. Now looking at these I'm going to come back to my first line and bring it down a little bit and stop. Okay, now we're going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, and maybe one more straight line. Okay? I go back to my first straight line and I'm going to draw a little curve line up, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Little curve line up, straight line down, straight line over, connect little curve line up, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Little straight line up, curve line up, I'm sorry, straight line, connect. Little curve line up, straight line, connect. Little curve line up, straight line, straight line, connect. Now I come back over here and I'm going to continue this curve line up bam until it crashes into that line, jump over, draw another curve line, bam that crashes into that, jump over, continue and then connect. Okay? Now that I've drawn these lines I can now come down to the very bottom on the left and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line down and now I'm going to continue this line all the way down until BAM it connects. Straight line down, jump over, straight line, straight line down. Now some of you might crash into things sooner, some of you might crash into things later. Just wherever you need to jump over, go ahead and jump over. Now I'm going to come back over here on the left and on the outside I'm going to put straight line, straight line, straight line, jump over, straight line, straight line. Go back to the first one, little curve line up, straight line, straight line, connect, little curve line up, straight line, straight line, connect, little curve line up, straight line, straight line. Jump over, little curve line up, straight line, straight line, little curve line up, straight line, straight line. Now I'm going to come all the way down here and I'm just going to put one, two little straight lines and I'm going to come all the way back up here at the top and I'm just going to draw little box one, two and over here little box one, 
two. Okay, now I come back to the inside of this and I'm just going to draw a curved line down, around, jump over, jump over, jump over, continue, little straight line, jump over, jump over, come all the way to the top, and connect. Okay. Now, I come about midpoint, and right about here, I'm just going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, off the page. I come up just a little bit, and now I'm just going to draw a straight line across, jump over, straight line across. And on the top, I'm just going to go wavy, wavy line. Leave a space, wavy, wavy line. Connect, jump over. Wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy, wavy line off the page. Okay, I think that's all. And we're now let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, if you have gray... I'm going to color in my obelisk. That's what this shape of the monument is. And I'm just going to color this in gray. If you have a pale, pale beige or brown, you can color it in that color. But it's just a magnificent monument. It's monumental. So this is all the obelisk, and that's why I'm coloring it in gray. And this little rectangle down here, this is the entryway. Okay, all right, next, this little ring divides up the greenery from the outside of the monument and the inside. So this little space right here should be like a light brown, okay? Then, these are bushes, so I did these dark green all the way across. And then this whole area, I did dark green also. And this is a lot to color. So do the best you can. It goes all the way around and up on both sides. Okay? Now, for the inner circle, this is also like grass, but I used a light green. If you don't have a different color green, you can just color very lightly with your regular green. But this I want to kind of make two-toned. Okay? Then, this is a water component. So I'm going to take my dark blue-green and just draw some curvy lines. And then over that, lightly color turquoise or blue-green. Okay, and then the last part of the big sections, this is sky, and I just did this a blue. Lightly, because you want the main emphasis to be the obelisk of the Washington Monument. You know, and it's interesting, they started planning the monument even before George Washington was even elected president. Okay, now, this is important because these are your flags. And I don't know how little, teeny tiny, you can draw. So I'm just going to put a little square of blue in one corner, the upper right. And then I'm just going to take my red and do two straight lines if I can. Now, sometimes kids go, well, that doesn't look like, well, we're just giving you the illusion of the monument. Now this is really a spectacular site because this monument is 555 feet tall and then it's got this ring of flagpoles. Beautiful. Okay let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay here's the Washington Monument all colored in. A truly spectacular monument for George Washington and also for the, our country, the United States of America. Okay, bye-bye.